<laughs> our names are Mike and Heather. We're traveling the U.S. in our van Appa on a mission to visit all 50 states. Subscribe and join us as we try to figure out this whole van life thing. As always, thanks for watching. Good morning from Oahu, Hawaii. We've been spending the last couple of days exploring the island all the way from the Waikiki area to the North Shore to doing some crazy hikes like the one that we did yesterday and the Coco Crater hike. Yep. It's basically a straight up incline. But from there, we actually saw Hanama Bay, which is where we're at right now. Well, technically we're in the parking lot, yes. but we are getting ready to go snorkel in Hanama Bay. We are here before the sun has even risen. I think it's technically Just rising now right now. Up. Yeah, but we have 7 a.m. reservations that we're running a tad bit late for. It was a mad dash from the North Shore all the yeah. way down through Honolulu morning traffic, but we are here. We have reservations and we are ready to go in and start snorkeling in one of the best places to snorkel in the world. Mm -hmm. And my brother and Blair are joining us. We got kind of a special presentation to make sure you know what you're doing out here, that you're safe, that you're respecting the wildlife, all that good stuff. And now we are getting ready to go into the ocean here in this bay, which is going to have some amazing fish and aquatic life. I'm so excited. Don't know where we're going. Hanama Bay was absolutely incredible. We got off to a bit of a rough start because we didn't necessarily have snorkel equipment that was good enough to do <laughs> the kind of swimming that we wanted to. So we caved and rented the snorkel gear from the Hanama Bay rental stand and it made a world of difference. You get a pair of fins and the snorkel and mask, they all work fantastic and it made it so easy to just yeah. be out on the reef, floating, swimming and seeing unbelievable fish. We saw so many fish, so many different kinds. My favorite was Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Apua'a, which is the Hawaiian state fish. It was so cool looking. It was one of our, our favorite experiences that we've done here in Hawaii. When we rented our van, you could take some extra supplies, beach chairs, towel, extra towels, snorkel gear. So we grabbed some snorkel gear. It looks like the stuff that you get from ABC. The gear works perfectly fine, but just not for that type of stuff. So the snorkeling gear that Hanama Bay had, that actually closes Anytime water tries to come in, so you yeah, don't have so to worry. Yeah, so you don't get water down here, which was like part of the problem. So definitely recommend just biting the bullet and, and not be cheap like we were trying to be. <laughs> and uh, just rent the stuff there because it's really good quality. But that was the first time I've ever gone, second time I've gone snorkeling because I went with sharks yeah. when we were in Florida, but that but was like, like something different. But not like reef snorkeling. Yeah, this is the first time I've been like officially snorkeling <laughs> and it was really impressive. Better than I thought it was gonna be in like, every way. And I'm mm -hmm. very happy that like I got to do it, even doing it with my brother because I think it was his first time too. So it was just a really cool experience to share. But we have made a quick pit stop. So just a little bit away from Coco Head and Hanauma Bay is a little Walgreens that has a Leonard's food truck. So we made this stop when we were doing our island tour. So we knew it was here after. <laughs> so we knew it was here. We made that stop again today. And to we got grab, more, way more. Yeah, we grabbed a half dozen. And these are called malasada. So they're like yes. a famous must eat thing here in Hawaii or on Oahu rather, and they're like Portuguese donuts, but they're just caked in sugar and like super Like really pillowy. doughy. It's everything you want in a good donut. Yeah. But we got a couple different flavors. It's a little bit of everything, but this yeah. is gonna be our snack on the way back. 
Uh, Maybe we will probably be covered in in, <laughs> in that by the time oh, yeah. we get there. Yeah. We are heading back up to the North Shore to the Toa Luau, which is in the Waimea Valley. It's a beautiful location. There's a little bit of hiking you can do. There's a nice waterfall there that you have access to. And then the Luau is something that we saw recommended online. We're excited to go check it out. <laughs> It's chirping at me because I didn't put my seatbelt on first. After about an hour of drive, we made it to Waimea Falls. We're ready to go, hit the luau, and then hopefully still be able to go see those amazing waterfalls that are packed behind this property as well. Welcome to Toa Luau. Mahalo. So we made it into the Toa Luau. We were given lays when we walked in and checked in and we've walked just outside of the Luau Pavilion to see some of the cultural demonstrations they include. It's really cool out here. Basically braiding, but you have to tuck it under first and then pull it over. So this is a lot of fun. Not only do you get the luau, but they give cultural demonstrations of traditional headwear and how they're going to be making a lot of the food. And then before we have the luau, they're going to show us how they would traditionally cook everything that people are peeling and the coconut shaving. So it's really cool. And then duct tape or tie a knot. Okay, perfect. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. <laughs> Mike's jealous of my headband, so now he's gonna make one. <laughs> Yours is like actually fitted, mine has like huge gaps. I have a bigger head than you. <laughs> it looks good though. You wanna try this? You're gonna hurt yourself. No. Yeah, and then try to bring your heads closer together. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I, they're very talented. Like, all the people here are very, very talented. <laughs> Thank, thank you for that round of applause, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to thank uh, you guys for joining us here at Tua Luau. But first thing first, we're going to show you how we cook using hot rocks. Everybody say, tell us more. Tell us more. Here we go. Check this food out. Freshly squeezed coconut milk, fish, onion, and salt for flavoring. Cook it on in uh, coconut shell cups. Bad news is we cannot serve you any of this food. Keep in mind we're in America still and there are health regulations. <laughs> Some of you are surprised when I said we are still in America. Everybody say August 21st. August 21st. 1959. 1959. The United States, the United States. finally became part of Hawaii. <laughs> say it. Okay, remember that. That was really cool. They had kind of a pre-show where they talked about cooking and some of the tradition there. There are some demonstrations of how the food is prepared and the different types of materials used. So it was really cool to learn a little bit more about traditional cooking here in Hawaii. But now we're heading inside because it is time to start the luau. <laughs> officially started we got an amazing welcome presentation where they really included the audience it was funny it was heartfelt and it was just a really great start to this dinner we just got delivered our food it's a feast i think we got pork chicken rice macaroni salad which is like a huge thing here an amazing looking cake and some fruit so we also got these uh drinks that was chocolate and Chocolate. Uh, like Tastes like hot yeah. chocolate. Yeah, I really liked it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and of course we have our alcoholic beverages. They were included in our seating. We got the cheapest one, the silver package. But we have a pretty good view of the stage, and they still give you drinks. So all the important things. I think it's Kalua pork, right? Yeah. So this is a big sort of delicacy here. That's really good. It's really well cooked. Tons of flavor in it. It's really tasty. Yeah, that's really good. You can taste like the grilling of it. A sweet taste to it. There's a nice glaze on it. Again, really well cooked and like tender. Lots of flavor. It's definitely good. So all of the meat so far has been really good. <laughs> okay, they already dove into the meat, so I'm gonna try the mac salad, which I'm actually really excited about. 
That's really good. It's creamy, the noodles are cooked well. Very good food here so far. We also got some rice. Let me try this. It might just be plain rice, but can't go wrong with that. It is like a plain white rice, but with the seasoning on top, it really adds some extra flavor and really ties in everything together. So we're really excited to finish this meal. It was a great performance, a great show. It was funny at times, heartfelt. It was just, I think, everything you would hope for in an experience like this. So many different islands were represented, so it wasn't just Hawaii. You got to really see a broad culture of Polynesia, and it was just really great. We are going to go on a little hike, because here with your admission ticket, you're allowed to hike to the beautiful waterfall here. I don't think we're gonna go swimming like we quite thought was planned, but we're still gonna get a glimpse of it which at this point in time is just as good because we are full and not in our don't. swimsuits. <laughs> yeah, and probably wouldn't want to get in a swimsuit right about now. So not only do you have access to the waterfall, but the way that you get there is by walking through botanical gardens. So we're surrounded by beautiful plants, trees, flowers from all different areas of Polynesia. We've been walking through the beautiful botanical gardens here. They have cool signage giving you a little bit more information about some of the plants. There's some cultural information and honestly just the scenery here in the Waimea Valley is absolutely stunning. There's enormous volcanic rocks just all over and Hawaii being volcanic islands of course that makes sense but it's just so unlike things that we've ever seen before. So it's really just everything everywhere you look is really incredible. We made it to the waterfall and back again. We are back with our trusty man for our Hawaii adventure here. And we just wanted to say one more time about how great the luau was. We tried really hard to find one that was more of a local experience and I feel like it was very intimate because it wasn't a huge crowd. Mm -hmm. It's owned by a Polynesian family. They even had their 11 year old nephew come on stage at one point. <laughs> the wife was in the kitchen. The announcer was 
the I believe like owner the, or at least yeah one the of host the for the members. evening. So there's a lot of family members who were dancing, and it was just really felt like you were part of something bigger yes, than yourself. A very family atmosphere, or as they said, an ohana. You definitely felt welcome. It was such a great experience, and I can't recommend this place highly enough. During the luau, they mentioned that there is a old temple around the. Uh, not around I the think block. up at the top of the hill, right? Yeah, around the corner. So we're gonna go check that out now. Oh, it's a giant steering wheel. It feels like you're on on one of those like little kid ones that are on the track that you go back and forth in with like the giant steering wheel, you know? Yep. You look very Hawaiian. I look very tourist right now with my headband and lay and thrift store romper that I found before this trip. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking that's about to fall over your eyes though. Because it is. <laughs> Heather, by the way, is wearing my poorly constructed headband. She gave me her well-constructed one. But we're heading up to the temple. We rode up to the top of Waimea Valley to go see the temple is very twisty and turny. Yeah, I feel like I'm putting, being put to the test right now. Yeah, this is it a good- from zero to 100 real quick. Yeah, well, not speedometer wise no. because this van does not go zero to a 100 really wise. quick. It might not even make it to 100, but yes, Heather is driving a very uh, twisty, turny road up a hill in this vehicle for her first time behind the wheel. But she's doing great. She's doing a very good job. Unfortunately, the temple closes at 5. It's a little bit after 5, so they're... 5.05. Uh, yeah. The gate guy was super nice, and he's like, uh, I want to go up there, you're going to get locked in. We're like, okay. Yeah. So we scratched that plan. Yeah, so the gates close at 5, and to avoid being locked in overnight, we are <laughs> heading back down. Like, look at this uh, turn. Look at this turn right now. Some hairpin turns here. One of the things that the North Shore of Oahu is famous for is its awesome surf. There are a ton of surfing competitions that usually happen, and there are a couple of really great beaches here, especially Pipeline Beach and Sunset Beach. Pipeline, as the name suggests, have waves that curl over and break and create a really great surfing environment, while Sunset has some of the biggest waves on the island. So we are going to drive past there and see if there's anything going on in terms of surfing. The Billabong Pro Pipeline competition has been going on the last couple days, but we haven't had an opportunity to check it out. I think we're going to go look at those locations and see if there's any information on what the upcoming surfing looks like for the next couple days. And at the very least, we're going to check out hopefully some awesome waves coming in that we can kind of get a glimpse at what those surfers have a chance to experience. I'm switching back with Mike, just in case you're wanting a real look at what man life looks like. That mess well, is a pretty accurate representation. Part of that comes from running late this morning with a 5 a.m. wake up and but not then having... But then having nowhere to dry wet clothes. Yeah. Leaving it in bed mode because you're too lazy in the morning. Some garbage. Yeah. Okay, uh, let That's me adjust. It. Oh yeah, our, the van doesn't have power, like, the power adjusters. Oh yeah. Will you go just to eat out uh, from where you're at? Oh, too far. Bring it back up. Nope, too far. That's good enough. <laughs> okay. break to shore so the viewing is awesome. surf those awesome waves. We did ask about the professional surf competition that was happening at that beach. Today is the last day, 
but they still had all of the stuff set up and that's the same spot that those pros were out there surfing for today so it was really cool to be at that location see some of the stuff going on and just to watch really great surfing we're heading out from there back towards where our campsite is but we're not going there quite yet we're going to meet up with nate and blair because they found a good spot to watch the sunset as we're going to meet up with them the sun is actually setting to our right behind that mountain and it looks so pretty this would be a good beach to come and watch the sunset too yeah After a really exciting and action-packed day here in Oahu, we are going to be calling it a night. We're heading back to the campsite. We've got some cleaning and organizing to do on the van because we're turning it in tomorrow because that is the last day for our van. Yeah, it's really sad. I feel like this trip went by way faster than I expected it to, but the sun has officially set, which means that it is <laughs> the end of this day. And in the next one, I promise you, we'll have our van tour. We're gonna make them clean up their van too and yeah. show that one to you. Yep, so that's gonna be our first stop. Well, first thing to do tomorrow morning, we're gonna get up bright and early and do that try and maybe get one or two more things checked off in the North Shore before we leave this area. The Dole Whip Plantation. Yes. Because we want the Dole Whip. But that is a tale for tomorrow, so we will see you then.